All right, I'm not going to take up too much of your time here on a Monday. Let's get rapid with Iraq. Time is 9.28 p.m. in Baghdad. Is everybody having a good Monday? I hope everybody has a great Monday, a great week. Get after it. Make some money. Check out different opportunities. Stay grounded. Stay blessed. Looking at Brent oil chart. Look where it went. Way up here, like almost $66 went. Here we are at $64.27 is where oil's at. Oil made a huge comeback, did it not? I mean, Iraq couldn't be more blessed to help them out in their current situation. Check this out. Fists are flying in today's parliament session between two deputies. Fist and shoes and punches and Halabosi leaves the session. Here it is right here. Here's the photo. I think it's like right in here if you can see my cursor. Right in the center of this photograph. Eruptions taking place today. That's what we need in Iraq. Let's get stuff done. As far as the budget goes, it's going to be voted on hopefully the end of this week. Just stay Stay tuned. The budget will not pass without the Kurds. And very interesting article. Why is there delay? Just so happens the opportunity to reach an agreement between Erbil and Baghdad is still there. And we are optimistic about it. The atmosphere is positive and good. But they pointed out is reaching an agreement is not related to the Kurds only, but also to other parties. Well, who are those other parties? It's the Shiite party. Other parties. Kurdish MP clarified that the Shiite parties have not yet submitted any joint proposal. And we are awaiting what those parties reach in this regard. So there you have it. I wanted to point this tweet out by the government of Iraq. You might have seen this, but there's some viewers that have not seen this or they're aware of this so bear with me please this is a very important tweet from the government of iraq setting a new exchange rate for the iraqi dinar against the u.s dollars part of the economic reform program adopted by at iraqi government which aims to address the immediate financial crisis in placing the iraqi economy on a sustainable path very important they had put out and made this video i'm going to play it but leave the volume down i just don't want to get striked on this but it's very cool i'm on the steps taken by the iraqi government to implement reform program and addressing the financial crisis attributed to the collapse of the global oil prices and implications of covid 19. the central bank of iraq approved a new exchange rate against the Iraqi dinar, we know what that is, 1450, as a pro proactive step to prevent the depletion of the CBI's foreign exchange, achieve development, CBI auction sales of foreign currency from December 17th to February 10th, a total of 9 billion US dollars. But since the CBI approval of the new exchange rate sales between those dates, a total of almost $2 billion dollars in US dollars. This is a decline in sales of more than 7 billion US dollars. So what happened? What how is this positive? The Iraqi government took immediate actions to support affected sectors and vulnerable segments of reducing sources of corruption, combating money laundering, protecting foreign currency reserves. Iraqi government is carrying forward its reform program implementing measures. Sorry. Went really fast there, very rapid. I hope you guys like that. That's very positive very positive now we wait to see what comes from this all they are moving in the right direction hey you guys i have a telegram group if you haven't joined it the link is down below in the description go check it out we'll see you in the next rapid video